So I'm finally going to get this list up to date. This is the Noble 30, which is the equivalent of the European Dividend Aristocrats. The last time I updated this was in 2021, so it's long overdue. But all of these companies are all blue chip, meaning that they have a market cap of at least 5 billion euro. And they have all either increased or sustained their dividends since the year 2000. It's from this website here. You can't really see the top of it, but it's the European Dividend Growth Investor. And this is the new list as of 2023. It looks as though the majority of them are the same, but there is a couple that I don't recognize. CRH is new. This one is also new, Relex. So if they're on Trading 212, I'll be able to add them in. And if you use Trading 212, I will put this link for this pie in the description. So you can just copy it directly rather than having to look for them yourself. But the first thing I have to do is export all of these positions out of here, like so. And then I have to go down through this list and basically take out whatever's not here anymore and add in whatever I don't have. So from the top down, Nestle I already had, Unilever I already had, Munich RE I already had, Air Liquide I already had, if that's how you pronounce it. Same with Halma, Total Energies, Henkel, Roche Holding, same with Walters Kluwer. Sage Group, L'Oreal, Coloplast. This one is new, CRH. And although it's on the London Stock Exchange, it's actually headquartered in Ireland. Looks to be doing okay from what I can see, but we'll have a deeper look into it later. Then Diageo, I already have. Same with Spirax Sarco Engineering, Fresenius, SAP, Crota International, Philips, Chubb, Koninklijk DSM, if that's how you pronounce it, which says there's a merger coming up, so that will be gone soon. I also already had Novartis, Asa Abloy, Lint and Sprungli, Novo Nordisk, Hermes International, and Sanofi. This one is also new, Relex. That's this one here. It's headquartered in London in the UK. Also seems to be doing okay. It only pays a dividend of about 1.8% yield at the moment. But it looks as though the share price has shot up recently, so that will drop the yield. Then Novo Zymes I already had, and British American Tobacco I already had. So there's only two new additions into the European Dividend Aristocrats. And there was one in my pie that hasn't made it into the list for 2023. And that's this one, Fresenius Medical Care. So we'll just remove that one from the pie, like so. And I'll add in the new two. That's CRH and Relex, or Relx. I don't know how to pronounce it. Very nice. It says this pie can expect an average annual return of 13%. That would be very nice if it's true. And then I just have to adjust the percentages so that they're all even. Like so. So that's the new pie done. And then I'm going to invest 50 euro into the pie and spread it out evenly just to get the ball rolling. And they should all get about 3.3 or 3.4% of whatever I put in. And these are all of the markets that are involved in this pie, which is quite interesting. This one probably shouldn't be here though, the New York Stock Exchange. So I'm going to check what that is before I put this order through. Okay, I found out what it is. It's this one, Novozymes. This is a company based in Denmark, but Trading212 only has this version, which is on the OTC markets, the over-the-counter markets, so the New York Stock Exchange. So that's grand, I'll get this pie started, and I'll spend about 30 seconds on each stock and just fly through the whole pie to give you the basic details of each one. The first is the Swiss food company Nestle. It's the largest food company in the world. The ticker symbol is NESN. It costs 98.63 francs per share pays a dividend once per year, and it pays 2.95 francs per share. The dividend payout ratio is a high 86%. They employ 275,000 people. They have a market cap of 263 billion francs. Price to earnings ratio is 22.64. Current revenue of 94.5 billion francs. Earnings per share is 4.36 francs. Their dividend yield is 3%. The profit margin for the second quarter of 2023 was 12% and their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 72.5%. They've been paying dividends for the last 64 years. The second is from the United Kingdom, Unilever. This is a personal and household products company. Currently costs £38.29 pence per share. They pay £37.15 pence per share four times a year. Their current dividend yield is 3.92%. And they've been paying dividends for the last 55 years. The dividend payout ratio is a pretty stable 57%. They employ 127,000 people. They have a market cap of 95.5 billion pounds. Price to earnings ratio is 16.49. Their current revenue is 51.5 billion pounds. Earnings per share of 2 pounds 30 pence. Their profit margin for the second quarter of 2023 was about 11.5%. 
and their debt to assets ratio from the same period was 75%. Number three is this one. Wen kenne Ruek ver Sigeruns Gesellschaft or Munich RE. This is a German life insurance company. The ticker symbol is MUV2. It costs 384 euro per share. It pays a dividend of 11 euro and 60 cent per share once per year. It's been paying dividends for the last 53 years. The dividend yield is about 3%. The dividend payout ratio is 47%, which is good. They employ 42 and a half thousand people. Their current market cap is 52.5 billion euro. They have a price to earnings ratio of 12.71. Their current revenue is 71.3 billion euro. A healthy earnings per share of 30 euro and 30 cent. It looks like their profit margin hasn't been reported. But their debt to assets ratio is a pretty high 90%. Number four is Air Liquide. The ticker symbol is AI. This is a French gas company that provides gas related technology and services. It currently costs 170 euro per share. It pays a dividend once per year of 2 euro 95 cent. It's been paying dividends for the last 48 years with a current yield of about 1.73% and a current dividend payout ratio of 55.8% which is pretty good. They employ 67,000 people. Their current market cap is about 89.5 billion euro. They have a price to earnings ratio of 2572 their current revenue is about 29.9 billion euro. Earnings per share is 6 euro 64 cent. Their profit margin for the third quarter of last year was 100%. And their debt to assets ratio for the second quarter of 2023 was 52%. So it's looking pretty strong. Number five is Halma in the UK. This is a company that develops life-saving technologies for things like fire safety, elevator safety and so on. It currently costs £21.21 £21 per share. It pays a dividend twice per year. The last two were for £8.4 and £12.34 per share. They have a current dividend yield of about 1%. They've been paying dividends for 43 years and they have a very low dividend payout ratio of about 30%. They employ about 8,500 people. They have a market cap of about £8 billion. Price to earnings ratio is 29.57. Their current revenue is £1.85 billion. They have an earnings per share of 70 pence. Their profit margin is 12% and their debt to assets ratio is 42%. Number six is the French energy company Total Energies. The ticker symbol is TTE. Currently costs €62.50 per share. Pays a dividend of €2.95 per share. It pays four dividends per year which is quite rare for a European dividend stock. The current dividend yield is 5%. They've been paying dividends for 39 years and they have a low dividend payout ratio of 37%. It employs about 101,000 people. They have a current market cap of 150 billion euro. Price to earnings ratio is 5.35. Their current revenue is 240 billion euro. They have an earnings per share of 11 euro 68 cent. Their profit margin for the third quarter of last year was 12%. And their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 60%. Next we have one of the new ones, CRH. This is an Irish company that provides building material solutions. Currently costs £52.56 pence per share. Has a dividend yield of about 3%. It pays two dividends per year. The last two were for 25 pence and £1.08 pence per share. It's been paying dividends for 39 years. They have a low dividend payout ratio of 28%. They currently employ about 75,000 people. Their current market cap is £46 billion. Their price to earnings ratio is 18.75. Their current revenue is £32.7 billion. Their earnings per share is £4. Their profit margin for the second quarter of 2023 was 7%. And their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 55%. Number eight is a German industrial and consumer company, Henkel. It currently costs 65 euro per share. The ticker symbol is HEN. They've been paying dividends for 37 years with a current dividend yield of about 2.5%. They pay one dividend per year for one euro and 83 cent. Their dividend payout ratio is about 62%. They employ about 48,000 people. They have a current market cap of 30 billion euro. A price to earnings ratio of 22.29. Their 
Current revenue, 22.4 billion euro. Their earnings per share is 3 euro 27 cent. Their profit margin for the second quarter of last year was 5% and their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 39%. Number nine is a Swiss biotech company, Roche. Ticker symbol is ROG. Currently costs 251 francs per share. It pays one dividend per year of 9.5 francs with a current dividend yield of about 3.8%. Their dividend payout ratio is about 61% and they've been paying dividends for 36 years. They employ about 103,000 people. Their current market cap is 205 billion francs. Their price to earnings ratio is 13.95. Their current revenue is 63.3 billion francs. They have an earnings per share of 18 francs. Their profit margin for the second quarter of last year was 24%, and their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 68%. Number 10 is the Dutch tech company Walters Kluwer. The ticker symbol is WKL. Currently costs €127 Euro per share. It pays two dividends per year. The last two were for €1.18 Euro and €0.72 cent per share. With a current dividend yield of about 1.4%. It's been paying dividends for 36 years. And it has a current dividend payout ratio of about 45%. They employ about 20,000 people. Their current market cap is 31.8 billion euro of 31.55. Their current revenue is 5.5 billion euro. Their current earnings per share is 4 euro. Their profit margin for the second quarter of last year was about 17.5%. And their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 78%. Number 11 is the UK tech company Sage. The ticker symbol is SGE. Currently costs £11.38 per share. It pays two dividends per year. The last two were for 6.55 pence and 12.75 pence per share, with a current yield of 1.7%. It's been paying dividends for 35 years and has a current dividend payout ratio of 72%. They employ 11,500 people. Their current market cap is £11.6 billion. Their price to earnings ratio is 35.51. They have a current revenue of £2.18 billion, an earnings per share of 30 pence. Their profit margin for the last quarter of last year was 10%, and their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 64%. Number 12 is the French personal and household products company L'Oreal. The ticker symbol is OR, currently costs €434 Euro per share. It pays one dividend per year of €11.26. Euro has a current dividend yield of 1.4%. It's been paying dividends for the last 35 years and it has a current dividend payout ratio of 53%. They employ about 87,000 people. Their current market cap is 232 billion euro. They have a price to earnings ratio of 39.96, a current revenue of 38.26 billion euro, a current earnings per share of 10 euro 87 cent. Their profit margin for the second quarter of 2023 was 16% and their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 45%. Number 13 is Coloplast. This is another company based in Denmark but it's on the US markets. It currently costs $11 per share. The ticker symbol is CLPBY. It's been paying dividends for the last 34 years with a current dividend yield of 2.6%. It pays one dividend per year with a current dividend payout ratio of a high 90%. This company develops markets and sells intimate healthcare products and services. They employ about 15,500 people. Their current market cap is $160 billion. Their price to earnings ratio is 34. Their current revenue is $24.5 billion. They have an earnings per share of $22.47. Their profit margin over the last quarter of last year was 19% and their debt to assets ratio over the same period was 64%. Number 14 is a popular one. It's a beverage company from the United Kingdom, Diageo. Ticker symbol DGE currently costs £27.65 pence per share. It pays two dividends per year. The last two were for 30.8 pence and 49.1 pence per share. It's been paying dividends for the last 32 years 
has a current dividend yield of about 2.8% and a current dividend payout ratio of 55%. They employ about 30,000 people. Their current market cap is £61.8 billion. Their price to earnings ratio is 14.66. Their current revenue is £17.1 billion. Their earnings per share is £1.90. Their profit margin over the last quarter was 18.7% and their debt to assets ratio over the same period is 78%. Number 15 is a UK tech company, Spirax Sarco Engineering. It currently costs £98 per share. The ticker symbol is SPX. It pays two dividends per year. The last two were for £1.09 per share and £46 per share. That gives it a current dividend yield of about 1.6%. They've been paying dividends for the last 30 years and they have a current dividend payout ratio of 49%. They employ about 9,300 people. They have a current revenue of 7.23 billion pounds, a price to earnings ratio of 26.92, a current revenue of 1.61 billion pounds. Their profit margin for the second quarter of last year was about 10%, and their debt to assets ratio for the same period was about 58%. Number 16 is a German healthcare company, Fresenius. They currently cost €29 Euro per share. The ticker symbol is FRE. They've been paying dividends for the last 30 years. They pay one dividend per year of 49 cent, and that gives them a dividend yield of 3.1%. They have a very high dividend payout ratio of 187% though. So they did cut the 2023 dividend and we'll see what happens in the future. They employ about 193,500 people. They have a current market cap of 16.3 billion euro a price to earnings ratio of 9.23. Their current revenue is 40.8 billion euro. Their earnings per share is 3 euro 14 cent. Their profit margin for the third quarter of 2023 was negative 7% and their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 73%. Number 17 is a German tech company, SAP. It currently costs 137 euro per share. It pays one dividend per year. The last one was for 2 euro and 5 cent per share with a current dividend yield of 1.5%. It's been paying dividends for the last 30 years, and it has a current dividend payout ratio of 44%. They employ about 106,000 people. Their current market cap is 168.4 billion euro. They have a price to earnings ratio of 59.4, a current revenue of 30.8 billion euro, an earnings per share of 2 euro 31 cent. Their profit margin for the third quarter of last year was 16.5%. And their debt to assets ratio for the same period is 36.8%. Number 18 is Philips, or its full name is Koninklijke Philips. This is a Dutch healthcare company. Currently costs 21 euro per share. The ticker symbol is PHIA. It pays one dividend per year. The last one was for 85 cent per share, giving it a dividend yield of about 3.9%. It's been paying dividends for the last 30 years, but it does have a very high dividend payout ratio of 126%. So that will probably change. They employ about 70,000 people. They have a current market cap of 19.6 billion euro. A current price to earnings ratio of 87.1. A current revenue of 17.8 billion euro. An earnings per share of 24 cent. Their profit margin in the third quarter of 2023 was about 2%. It was a pretty bad year overall. And their debt to assets ratio in the second quarter of 2023 was 59%. Number 19 is a healthcare company in the United Kingdom. Croda International. Ticker symbol is CRDA, currently costs £46.40 £40 per share. They've been paying dividends for the last 30 years. They pay two dividends per year. The last two were for 61 pence and 47 pence per share. That gives them a dividend yield of about 2.3% and a nice and low dividend payout ratio of 23%. They employ close to 6,000 people. They have a current market cap of £6.5 billion, a price to earnings ratio of 20.43, a current revenue of £2.09 billion, an earnings per share of £2.30. Their profit margin for the second quarter of 2023 was 10% and their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 34%. Number 20 is Chubb. This is a Swiss insurance company. Ticker symbol is CB. It's also one of the ones on the American markets. So it currently costs $227 per share. It pays four dividends per year with a current dividend yield of 1.5%. They've been paying dividends for the last 29 years and the last one was for 86 cent per share. They have a nice and low dividend payout ratio of 26%. They currently employ 34,000 people. 
They have a market cap of $93 billion, a price to earnings ratio of 18.02, a current revenue of $43.17 billion, and earnings per share of $12.64. Their profit margin for any of the last quarters hasn't been listed, but their debt to assets ratio for the third quarter of 2023 was 76%. Number 21 is the Swiss biotech company Novartis. Ticker symbol is NOVN, currently costs 90 francs per share. It pays one dividend per year. The last one was for 0.8 francs per share, which gives it a current dividend yield of about 3.5%. They've been paying dividends for the last 29 years, but they do have a pretty high dividend payout ratio of 100%, which means their earnings don't cover the dividend. They currently employ 103,000 people. They have a market cap of 205 billion francs a price to earnings ratio of 23.79, a current revenue of 43.97 billion francs, and earnings per share of 3.8 francs. Their profit margin over the third quarter of 2023 was about 15%, and their debt to assets ratio over the same period was 66%. Number 22 is Cunningclick DSM, but this one's being merged soon, so anything I say here will be pretty much irrelevant very soon. Number 23 is the business services company from Sweden, Asa Abloy. I regularly notice these on things like locks on doors and work. This is another one on the American markets with the ticker symbol ASAZY. It pays two dividends per year. The last two were for 11.7 cents and 11.4 cents per share. It's paid dividends for the last 28 years and currently has a dividend payout ratio of 40%. They employ about 56,000 people. They have a market cap of $293 billion, a price to earnings ratio of 22.14, a current revenue of $120.8 billion, an earnings per share of $12.56. Their profit margin in the third quarter of 2023 was 9% and their debt to assets ratio in the same period was 53%. Number 24 is the Swiss chocolatier Lint & Sprungli. The ticker symbol is LISN. It currently costs 102,500 francs per share. It pays one dividend per year with a current dividend yield of 1.3%. The last one was for 325 francs per share. They paid dividends for the last 26 years and they have a current dividend payout ratio of 53%. They employ about 14,000 people. They have a current market cap of 24 billion francs, a price to earnings ratio of 42.5. Their current revenue is 4.97 billion francs and earnings per share of 2,400 francs. The profit margin for the second quarter of 2023 was 9% and their debt to assets ratio in the same period was 42%. Number 25 is another Danish company that's on the American markets. This is the biotech company Novo Nordisk, ticker symbol NVO, currently costs $105 per share. It pays two dividends per year. The last two that they paid were for $1.18 and 88 cents per share. They've been paying dividends for the last 26 years and they have a current dividend payout ratio of 50%. They employ about 61,000 people. They have a current market cap of $365 billion, a price to earnings ratio of 58.4. Their current revenue is $25.9 billion, an earnings per share of $1.82 and a pretty low dividend yield of 0.5%. Their profit margin for quarter three of 2023 was 38% and their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 69%. Number 26 is the French luxury brands company Hermes International. The ticker symbol is RMS, currently costs 1,820 euro per share. They pay one dividend per year of 3 euro and 23 cent for a dividend yield of about 0.7%. They've paid dividends for the last 24 years and they have a current dividend payout ratio of 34%. They employ about 20,000 people. They have a current market cap of 192 billion euro, a price to earnings ratio of 55.27. Their current revenue is 11.6 billion euro. They have an earnings per share of 32 euro 90 cent. Their profit margin for the second quarter of last year was 33% and their debt to assets ratio for the same period was 27%. Number 27 is the French healthcare company Sanofi. The ticker symbol is SAN, currently costs 93 euro per share. They pay one dividend per year with a current dividend yield of about 3.8%. 
The last dividend they paid was for 89 cent per share. They've paid dividends for the last 24 years and they have a current dividend payout ratio of about 49%. They employ about 91 and a half thousand people. Their current market cap is 118 billion euro. They have a price to earnings ratio of 16.13. Their current revenue is 95.4 billion euro. An earnings per share of 5 euro and 80 cent. Their profit margin for the third quarter of last year was about 20% and their debt-to-assets ratio for the second quarter of last year was 42%. Number 28 is one of the new ones. It's a UK tech company, RELX, or RELKS, I'm not sure. The ticker symbol is REL, currently costs £31.17 pence per share. It pays two dividends per year with a current dividend yield of about 1.7%. The last two that they paid were for 17 pence and 38.9 pence per share. They paid dividends for the last 24 years and they have a current dividend payout ratio of 64%. They employ about 34 and a half thousand people. They have a current market cap of 58.3 billion pounds, a price to earnings ratio of 35.4. Current revenue is 8.5 billion pounds an earnings per share of 90 pence, their profit margin for the second quarter of last year was 19%, and their debt-to-assets ratio in the same period was 77%. Number 29 is yet another Danish dividend stock that's on the US markets, Novozymes, ticker symbol NVZMY. Currently costs $53 per share. It pays four dividends per year and the last one was for 38 cents per share, giving it a dividend yield of about 0.7%. They've just dropped the dividend. They've paid dividends for the last 22 years and they have a current dividend payout ratio of 45%. They employ about 6,800 people. They're a biotech company that produce and sell industrial enzymes, microorganisms and biopharmaceutical ingredients. They have a current market cap of $83 billion, a price to earnings ratio of 30.19. Their current revenue is $17.5 billion. Their current earnings per share is $12.11. Their profit margin in the third quarter of last year was 21% and their debt to assets ratio in the same period was 49%. And last but certainly not least is British American Tobacco. The ticker symbol on the London Stock Exchange is BATS. It currently costs £23.43 £43 per share. It pays four dividends per year. The last one was for 57 pence per share, giving it a massive dividend yield of 9.7%. They've increased their dividends for over 25 years and they have a current dividend payout ratio of 61%. This is a tobacco company headquartered in London. It employs about 50,000 people. They have a current market cap of 52.7 billion pounds, a price to earnings ratio of 7.24. A current revenue of £27.6 billion, an earnings per share of £3.30. Their profit margin in the second quarter of last year was 29% and their debt to assets ratio in the same period was 50%. So that is 30 European dividend aristocrats. I hope you enjoyed.